Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable and use the focus sessions on your Windows 11 computer. So it's an interesting feature that's built into the alarm and clock application on Windows. And it's basically a productivity app. So it wants you to you know, better utilize your time. And if you want to better organize your tasks and daily goals, for example. I'm going to show you guys how to go about just setting it up and some of the basic settings overall, and then you guys can take it from there. But it should be a pretty straightforward process, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up a search menu, type in alarms, best match, go back with alarms and clock, go ahead and open that up. So at this point, it does recommend that you should install the Spotify app to enhance your focus sessions with music and podcast. Go ahead and select install Spotify here. And I'm going to select the get button. And just let it download and install here. And close out of there. And then if we go back, or we probably should actually just close out of alarms and clocks app and then just reopen it. Best match is just clock, so it looks like in the latest update they removed the alarms from it. So that's new to me. So you can see just in the latest update, just change the name of it. So at this point, if you wanted to link your Spotify account, you can. I'm not going to do that for today's tutorial. I just wanted to kind of show you guys you might be in a similar position here and it might want to recommend that you install Spotify. If you don't use Spotify, you don't have to. I mean, it's optional here. But anyway, if you want to set how long you want your sessions to last here, and then you can organize your to-do list. So let's say we want to set 60 minutes. And if you want to skip breaks, you can. You can check mark that box. Otherwise, keep it unchecked. And then in this to-do list, you will have to use a Microsoft-based account. If you select the little three-dot icon and then select Open in To-Do. And they want you to sign in with a Microsoft account here, so in order to actually sync everything. So if you're using a local-based Windows account, you won't be able to use this feature. But otherwise, you can just select the Start Focus Session. And this is just a basic functionality if you don't want to use a Microsoft-based account, you don't want to use the Spotify account, it's basically just a timer here. And you can modify your daily progress as well over here on the right side of what your goal is. So pretty generic here guys I mean there's plenty of other tools online that probably do more features than this and you don't have to create a bunch of accounts for it either but just a basic utility in here if you want to take a look at so as always thank you for watching this brief tutorial I do possibly help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye